Welcome everyone, this is my first time playing the game, the new Warhammer 40k game. I'm extremely excited to play this game. Unfortunately right now I don't have internet, so I don't know what's going on. Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunter, quite a tongue twister. Can't even abbreviate that shit. Okay, so let's get going. So this game is a lot of fun, and it, visually it is quite a masterpiece. The majority of the animations, both still and animated, are pretty spectacular to behold. Uh, they are right on point with the Warhammer 40,000 universe, the comic books, and the previous games. This is quite a lot of fun. Commander, we cannot maintain this orbit for long. Dispatch the assault team at once. I will join them and put an end to this myself. Let's go. Your will be done. Hey. This is my game review. Unfiltered. Unbiased. And this is me walking away. So this game is a lot of fun. On top of the visuals, this game has a lot of RPG elements. It has massive amount of customization as you level up your characters. It has researching your enemy, among other things. It has somewhat base building like it does in XCOM where you're building up your ship and making massive improvements and new abilities to counter the enemy. There's also this cool animation of the storyline as you progress towards returning back to the home to get the ship repaired. At this point in time, I don't know if you'll keep on being able to play after you get to your home base. It seems like we might, which is really, really exciting. Currently, we'll be able to use new weapon systems, etc. But not too sure at this point. This game play is 100% like XCOM, or the XCOM series, if you will. I think that they took the lessons learned from XCOM 1 and XCOM 2. They took the best of it and they removed the worst of it. This game is smooth. One of the best things that I found about it, besides how the body parts fly apart with the explosions, is actually just that I can use my controller like I want to, instead of being forced due to efficiency to using keyboard and mouse. I play on PC, and um, being able to play this game on the controller makes it so much more fun. And I hope I can one day start playing it from my couch. Here are a quick few highlights from my gameplay that really captivated me and I cannot seem to edit them out of this because they just were too cool on my scale. <laughs> Anyways. Ah, cool! Oh my god. I love that guy. All right, so this was my first playthrough of the game uh, so far. The visuals, it's, it's kind of like awesome. It's kind of like brings you the old school Dawn of War vibe, but the uh, the, the, the animations of the mouth for the uh, human-like characters is kind of weird. So I want to say that it's like knockdown one, but so far everything is still really good. Adding everything together, we're looking at 4.5, maybe 4.75. Out of five, uh, this is excellent. This is excellent. Uh, I'd 10 scale, 9.5. Uh, gameplay, gameplay. It's just like XCOM, one of my favorite games of all fucking time. XCOM 2 included. XCOM 2 uh, perfected a lot of stuff that XCOM 1, in my opinion, did not. The uh, controls from a controller standpoint is way better than anything I ever witnessed in XCOM. So I might actually start going back to that. Um, so controls, gameplay, everything is a lot of fun. Lore. Definitely in depth. Definitely there with the uh, game workshop. You know it. They're not slacking anywhere. This is going to be a really fun game. Stay tuned, you guys. Join my uh, Trovo channel. I stream every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern for a few hours. I also stream uh, for only two hours on Thursdays, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also alternating weekends. So um, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.